I believe that happiness is universal desire. All human beings wants to be happy. But I have found out that contentment is the key. to the beach it's walking distance this is where i first rented a room that is where we will be buying our coffee Cebu. Cebu, Cebu. i don't know how to pronounce that one Cebu. whatever everything so let us sit over here and enjoy the view and the scenery let's go oops
we're living the life. You know that? Can I be there? Huh? Oh, so cute. So, hi, guys. I'm walking around Glenelg. Along Glenelg's uh, shoreline. And um, there's one thing I realized. It's just so nice to have this gift of... I consider this a gift. I can easily make friends with others. Like, I can easily pull out a conversation with a stranger, say hi, and, um, you know, talk about a topic or to engage in a conversation with a stranger. It's just so nice to know about their lives. So today I have talked with someone who is a dog lover, someone who is a retiree, someone who just want to take a breather in here. So, do you know the word? It reminds me of the word sunder. Sunder is when we encounter a lot of people with uh, different concerns about life. They also have their own battles. And we get to know them. So I'm on a verge of wanting to work five times or five days a week to earn money because yeah, I don't want to be hypocrite. I acknowledge that money is very important, but I'm also on a verge of wanting to live life and uh, experience life in its fullness and beauty. So I always believe in the first in Philippians that says, I know to have plenty, I know to Ha, to be in need, to be well fed and hungry but it's always in Christ that we find contentment you know what I mean guys